Hi, I'm UFC welterweight Michael Chiesa, and this is UFC Decision Time presented by TAP. These are my picks for UFC 241 Cormier versus Miocic 2 this Sunday on pay-per-view. In the main event of UFC 241, it's a rematch for the heavyweight championship as former title holder Stipe Miocic takes on pound for pound great and the man who dethroned him, Daniel Cormier. I think that Stipe is going to have a game plan that's going to make this fight a little tougher for DC to get into his wheelhouse and get into the clinch, but I do think DC is going to put a lot of forward pressure on him and I think that that's going to win him a lot of rounds, so I do see Daniel Cormier winning a decision in this fight. The co-main event of UFC 241 is a must-see matchup in the welterweight division as Nate Diaz makes his highly anticipated return versus former lightweight champion Anthony Showtime Pettis. As I did my film study for this fight, I did notice that Anthony Pettis struggled as he got into the later rounds. And Nate Diaz is a guy who is a cardio machine. This guy thrives in the late rounds. And so I see him really putting the pressure on Anthony Pettis throughout this fight. I see Nate Diaz winning by third round TKO. A couple of middleweight knockout artists will be on display at UFC 241 when fast rising star Paulo Costa takes on one of the scariest fighters in the game, Yoel Romero. Paulo Costa is going to struggle not being able to be the bully this fight. He likes to walk guys down and impose his will with his physique and his volume, but you can't bully Yoel Romero. I mean, this guy is the bully of the middleweight division, and I think that he's going to overwhelm him in the late rounds, and I just see him winning by a spectacular finish in round three. He's going to win by third round TKO. Thanks for watching this edition of UFC Decision Time presented by TAB. Who are you backing? To place a bet on UFC 241, visit the TAB app, tab.com.au, or at your local today.